Good afternoon. From the floor of the CME, this is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusive comment here today, middle of the week here, uh, the 20th of July, Wednesday. Well, if you've been following the grains, uh, been listening to me really since Christmas, we've had a really volatile year. Uh, soybeans led us higher. We had a nice $3 rally, which pulled up all of the grains. Uh, with the lack of a drought really raising its head here, you've had prices move sharply lower in the, in the past two to three weeks. Uh, the numbers I would look at in November soybeans, uh, if you take the, the March low to the contract high, that was about a $3.30 rally. The halfway back point, 1021. And uh, we're grinding around that. That is gonna probably be a pivot for November beans moving forward. So I would watch that level carefully. Secondly, if you look what's going on in corn and wheat, uh, today corn dipped below 350 for new contract for the December corn. It's pretty negative. There have been some support there. Um, if you shift back to September, which is the spot month in corn, uh, that's under 339, 338. You roll it all in a ball of wax and you've got uh, downward pressure for corn as well as wheat. The last week we saw the managed funds go from being long, probably 100,000 contracts. Uh, they rolled that position into a short position now. They're probably short around 25, 30,000 contracts of corn. So. The managed funds have thrown in the towel on trying to make that long bet in December corn. Uh, we've seen a dollar break plus in the past three weeks after having a nice uh, 85 cent rally. Moving forward, the trade is looking at what could possibly cause yields in corn or beans to go lower. The only thing that would impact that would be high temperatures and the weather forecasts um, although it changes every 12 hours, the, the latest weather forecasts are for uh, uh, higher temperatures, but also plenty of rain. And uh, at night, we're getting cool temperatures. So you throw that all in a ball of wax and you don't have any energy to push these grains higher. And you're seeing how the market, it doesn't really even have to be uh, that much new selling. It's just a lack of buyers. Uh, so this is how volatile a weather market could be. So I've watched soybeans. Soybeans let us up. Uh, I hope they don't lead us down. A lot of people in soybeans are looking at the 100 and 200 day moving averages. The November bean 200 day moving average is down around 950. Um, the low, the contract low for the year was 850. Uh, so we'll see if that comes into effect. A lot of technical traders like to look at those 100 and 200 day moving averages. Uh, finally, the wheat. Uh, we have a large supply. We've got a great uh, harvest underway. You've got the U.S. dollar at four-month highs. As the stock markets rally, the U.S. dollar has also rallied. That four-month high just makes our uh, exportable wheat that much more expensive for the rest of the world. So you have a situation where the funds have been short wheat really for the past seven, eight, nine months, and they've gotten paid to be short wheat. Uh, as we make new lows in wheat, which we are, uh, as I walked over here, uh, they continue to sell it. They'll add to that winning position. Now, at some point, this market's going to turn around. It's going to get oversold, and we're going to have a, a vicious short covering rally. If you could tell me when that's going to be, please email me and let me know. Uh, that's crystal ball thinking. Uh, at some point, we're going to get some, uh, that type of reaction. Uh, I would say if you're trying to catch the bottom, trying to catch the bottom, it's a little expression. It's like trying to catch a knife. Uh, when you do it, you look like a hero but you may be wrong four or five times uh, trying to catch that bottom. So be careful doing that. Um, if you want to talk about hedging, if you want to talk about speculating, look me up on the web, Chris Robinson. Have a great day.